Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to MT Guitar. Uh, today we're doing Weird Fishes slash Arpeggi by Radiohead. Truly a fascinating uh, song, so we're also going to break it down. We're going to talk about the polyrhythms involved, and if you don't know what polyrhythms are, you're in the right place. We'll talk about that. Then we're going to run through both guitar parts with the tab above, and we'll do it with a metronome because this song is in 4-4, four, four, but we have some polyrhythms of 3-8 and 5-8 going on. Truly fascinating stuff musically. Uh, this was off of In Rainbows, 2007 release. Sort of an interesting time for Radiohead. They had broken away from EMI, and uh, I think they were quite fed up with the whole label business. So they put this record out um, online as Pay What You Want, where basically you could just buy it for free or pay whatever you chose to pay. It's truly a beautiful album. I mean, this is one of my favorite Radiohead albums. You know, there's so many good songs. Hopefully we'll cover more songs from this album. The meaning of the song is, is quite uh, difficult to ascertain. Uh, Radiohead tends to have lyrics that are, are a bit cryptic. This is a song I actually uh, presented for my songwriting class. I taught songwriting for two years at Front Range Community College. I always showed this song um, each semester. And we would talk about what we thought it meant, and we would look at the musical elements like the 3-8 and 5-8 polyrhythms. It was quite interesting to hear the students' opinions on what the lyrics were, were referring to, and you'll find some interesting Reddit threads about that. Everyone's saying something slightly different. Some people saying, you know, if you feel like you have a clear meaning of a Radiohead song, then you haven't listened closely enough. So we have three main sections. The, the, the main section is really what happens for most of the song. Right, where we have these these wonderful arpeggios going on. So let's define a couple things. We'll define arpeggios and polyrhythms before we actually do the tab above. So this song is called Weird Fishes slash Arpeggi. Arpeggi is short for arpeggio. So an arpeggio is essentially the notes of a chord played one by one sequentially, uh, whether it's ascending or descending. Very, very useful because, you know, this idea of a block chord would be a block of sound, all vertical, right? You know, and those are great, but then if you want to do anything else, right, you have a, I don't even have to change the left hand, but I can play an arpeggio. Okay, so with that in mind, this song has a bunch of chords, but we rarely hear, if ever, a chord just played, right? It, it's like all at once. It would be uh, one note at a time. Now, this is an E minor 7. It's not the most common version of an E minor 7, but that is an E minor 7 chord. Um, here would be an E minor 9. You find that a lot in jazz and bossa nova, but if I just do these three notes, that's a repeating arpeggio over an E minor 7. Really useful to know that term because, of course, you can take any chord shape that you can find on the guitar and just create an arpeggio out of it. There's also exercises where you go through the three chord tones of a certain chord and you can do it all over and I, I teach my students about that. Uh, very useful for soloing, for lead playing, etc. There are plenty of arpeggios that we're going to learn and it's really good for, for your, your skills on that. As far as polyrhythm, the drum beat is in 4-4, four, four, right? 4-4 four, four means four beats to a bar, the quarter note gets the beat, okay? And Right, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's a, f a beat, uh, a bar of four. But now the arpeggios are in three eight, meaning one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, over and over again, over a four beat pattern. So there's eight eighth notes in a bar. That's what we call them, eighth notes. And there's three uh, eighth notes in this pattern. So you can see what, what's going to happen here, three, six, nine. So the arpeggio is going to fall on a different part of the beat each time it plays. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so it's done at nine, not at eight. So if I'm losing you, that's because polyrhythms are very complex. Um, of course, there's tons of polyrhythms in rhythmic music from Africa and, and Asia where, you know, um, theoreticians have a real hard time discerning what's going on. And uh, it's because polyrhythms are incredibly complicated to sort of uh, analyze. But if you can feel it, then, you know, you can kind of play it without thinking too much, which is always a good thing. So we have a 3-8 polyrhythm going on. We also have, uh, and that's Ed O'Brien's part, and then Johnny Greenwood is playing in 5-8. So 
He's, he plays with Ed for a bit, and then when it comes in, when he comes in with his part, it's one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, one, two, three. A lot of times you can compound two and three to make five, so you don't have to count to five every time. So it's one, two, one, two, three. Now again, eight eighth notes in a bar, and, and you have a pattern of five repeating, so it doesn't line up each time. So it creates three polyrhythms, four, four, three, eight, and five, eight, and uh, fascinating stuff. So every bar is different, and we talked about that in my songwriting class as well. So with that, I think that's enough. Why don't we jump in with the tab above? There will be a tab uh, downloadable on the Patreon. Huge, huge thank you to all the patrons out there on MT Guitar. Uh, it makes a huge difference in allowing me to create more content and to put the time in to create the arrangements that I love to make for you. And uh, hit the thumbs up if you don't mind. And uh, let's keep growing this channel. And uh, all your comments are also greatly appreciated. So enough of that. Let's go ahead and jump in.